not feel like it, but back to school is just around the corner, which means parents are already out getting school supplies. Yeah, but some kids need our help as they get ready to go back to school. Jenna James joins us now live with how we can help. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. I am live at the First National Bank here at Shadow Lake Town Center. We will be here to try to stuff a bus on August 1st. We're all trying to collect some school supplies. We're now partnering with First National Bank to do that. If you want to get involved, all you have to do Get any school supplies you have and bring them to any First National Bank location and drop them off in these boxes between now and August 3rd. If you give children the tools to learn, they will learn and they will, they will achieve. And so I think if you can help every child have the opportunity to start with that full backpack of supplies, all the things they're going to need for those classes this year, uh, they're in a much better place to, uh, to succeed in school. And those drop-offs are all leading up to our big event day on August 1st. We are going to stuff the bus right here at Shadow Lake with as many school supplies as we can. Our WOWT 6 News team will be here to greet you. Now that event is on Saturday, August 1st from 8 to 1 right here at the Shadow Lake Town Center. We will be accepting any new school supplies. And guys, this is just a really great way to get involved and give back to some of those great community organizations. You're right about that. And Jenna, what organizations does this actually help? Yeah, it's going to help the partnership for kids. Kids can completely kids and the hope center for kids and if anyone is interested in getting any of these school supplies contact those organizations about when those distribution days will be all right a lot of organizations receiving a lot of good help and ultimately it goes down to the kids jenna james reporting live for us this morning jenna thank you